Hello and welcome to the second Careers in the Curriculum Briefing for Teachers of Humanities subjects. In our first broadcast, we outlined several post-16 options for students interested in people and places. If you would like to catch up with this broadcast or just need a refresher, you'll find a link in the description. First, let's see what's coming up in this edition. In this edition, we will explore selected careers in greater depth and learn about entry routes and likely earnings. We'll also hear how some young people are progressing with their post-16 routes in your subject area. So, how can a student get real-time information on the jobs that interest them? How do they know where these jobs are and what they might pay? The Pay Index uses up-to-date market data and cutting-edge software to offer important career prospect information to schools and students. With an easy-to-use reporting suite, you can compare educational outcomes for salary and career. Plus, you can see potential earnings throughout a career via university, apprenticeship and professional routes. The Apprenticeships Reporting Suite makes it easy to discover the types of apprenticeship available in various industries across different areas of the country. If we select a career type, we can see where these apprenticeships are offered. The pie chart shows the percentages for each of the available specialisms. By selecting the level of apprenticeship of interest, you can see the annual salary available. You can also look in more detail at what is available in your local area. Select your area, level of apprenticeship and see what apprenticeships are offered. Information is also available based on current qualifications. as well as clear information about salary. Your students may be wondering whether they would like to move away to study or stay closer to home. The Pay Index helps you explore popular parts of the UK where people go to university. Now select a subject of interest. The graph changes. The taller the line, the more people headed to that region to study the subject. Here the map shows where students headed for jobs after they graduated. The darker areas on the map have the most people. You can also see how there are jobs available in lots of different areas of the country for graduates, and so students can decide if they want or need to move at all. This section allows you to choose a subject and see the likelihood of gaining a graduate job after university and how much the starting salary might be. On the graph you can also see how that salary goes up over time. This page gives a more detailed look at earnings after graduation. This is valuable information for anyone who is unsure about being able to afford to go to university based on the current student finance system. This view also shows you what your student loan repayments would be based on the rules that were in place in 2021. This page shows the different costs of living across the UK, helping young people understand how much they would need to earn to maintain the same standard of living. The Pay Index is a great tool to aid discussions on post-16 options and is currently free to use. Ask your careers lead for details on how to access the site today. Of course, data isn't the only way to explore next steps. It's really helpful to hear a real-life experience from those people who have taken those next steps. So, we'll do that now. 
My name is Carenza and I study English literature, um, sociology and psychology. I chose these because um, I'm quite a creative person, so like English was like the best creative outlet for me. And I'm very interested in like the humanitarian processes of like sociology and psychology. So that's kind of why I did this. Um, I'm hoping to go to university to study psychology um, at degree level and hopefully go on to do a master's in that as well. My name is Harrison. I study criminology, sociology and economics. Why did you choose this route? As I wanted to go to uni, it seemed like the obvious route to get there. What do you hope to do next? I hope to go off to uni and study criminology and then hopefully get a postgraduate in financial crime. My name is Jasmine and I'm studying A-level maths, business and economics. I chose this route as it was the best for me at the time and all the subjects linked well together. I hope to go to Plymouth Marjon University and study primary school education. Um, I'm Harvey and I do law, sociology and criminology. Why did you choose the A-level route? Um, I just think it was the best course to go on to university. What do you hope to do next? Uh, I want to go on to do criminology at a uni, which I haven't chosen yet. Uh, my name's Lucy and I study A-levels in business, economics and geography. I chose A-levels because um, it seemed kind of seemed the obvious route for me because I knew from um, in year 11 that I wanted to go to university and um, A-level just seemed the most suitable choice for me and um, I just enjoyed um, geography and business at GCSE and um, I enjoyed the sound of economics A-level so it just seemed what was most appropriate for me. Um, I hope to study um, marketing at university. I plan to do a um, year placement where I'm hopefully working for in the marketing department in a business where I'll be able to pick up workplace skills that will put me in good use for when I eventually leave university and progress into higher up jobs in marketing. Uh, my name is Patrick and I'm studying business, maths and geography. Uh, I was kind of a bit shaky even coming out of GCSE. Um, I took what I was good at, um, mainly because I enjoyed it as well and I just basically went on from there. I think the, the class is very fun. Uh, my, my lecturers make the classes enjoyable. Uh, and like I said, it's uh, the courses I do enjoy as well. So that definitely helps with it. Um, it is quite a lot of workload, um, but obviously that's a given with A-levels. Um, maths is, maths <laughs> is pretty hard, but you know, um, I'm supported. So it's yeah, just what comes with the course. Uh, I'm looking to study marketing. Um, I think Exeter is my first choice. Um, yeah, just hoping to get the grades for that one. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for future broadcasts, please do leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future updates. <laughs>